Yakumo Omori is a sadistic ghoul. Well, what's new? Most of the ones we knew are sadistic or has gone through torture. Yakumo is no different. He undergoes severe torture and develop another entity to protect himself. He then used that very same torture he undergoes to Kaneki. Here are the lists for sadistic ghoul, Yamori. We see that Yamori's hair on the Tokyo Ghoul anime was yellow. However, on the Tokyo Ghoul Jack, his hair was actually black. It was unknown if the yellow was his natural hair color or if it is the black one. On Tokyo Ghoul Jack, he encounters Taishi. He tells him to choose whether his lower or upper half will be eaten first. This is also what he did when he tortures Kaneki. He gave the mentality to Kaneki that strong can do anything they want, and the strong ones are the ones that survive. Hence, we see him together with Rize climbing up his body on one of Kaneki's hallucination, since Yamori planted that mentality to Ken Kaneki. His torture at the hands of a CCG investigator is what made him sadistic. He even put it to the next level when he put a centipede to Kaneki's ear so that the centipede can travel across and scratches will be heard by Kaneki accompanied by agony as it made its way deeper. I'm bringing you! Don't do it! Please have mercy! No! No! Please! It can be seen on the anime that Kaneki eat Yamori. However, we also have the Quinke of Juzo being Yamori's Kagune. It can be assumed that Kaneki only eats the Kagune of Yamori which is also shown in the manga. He has a habit of cracking his fingers. With that one eye and the stank of the glutton. On the flashback, it was shown that his torturer actually does this and he picks it up. Naki also does the same to imitate him, while Kaneki begins to do the same habit after he undergoes extreme torture. He theorized that ghouls are meant to prey on each other since it was rumored that cannibalism increases a ghoul's strength, which turns out to be true. Kakuja are the most powerful form that a ghoul can have and it can be achieved by cannibalizing other ghouls. In one of the Omake, Yamori was featured as a magic mirror from Snow White. When Nico as the evil queen asks who is the fairest of them all, the mirror punches him in the face. Nico take another beat down on one of the Omake. Yamori and Naki were lost in the woods just like Hansel and Gretel. They saw Nico's house and eat it. Nico demands payment. However, he will only accept their bodies. Nico, in the end, was beaten by the two. It was also hinted that Yamori and Nico may have some affair, since he thanked Nico of finding the one that smells like Rize. To which Nico replies, that's right, now take me to bed. He also seemed to moan when Yamori punches a hole through his chest and also stated to save the rest when they get home. Oh, let's save the rest for when we get home. He tortures Kaneki for 10 days straight. He does this for fun. He planned on eating Kaneki after the torture when Kaneki has no will to fight or even survive. One of the bonus comics features him reminiscing sadly about his mother. After his fight with Kaneki, he was left there to die. He cries out for his mother before meeting his demise with Yuzo. 
Even though he is a sadistic guy, he treats his right hand with kindness and patience. He even gave birthday presents to Naki and patiently explained things to him so he can understand. He lived on the 13th ward, and on that ward, he was godlike. No one dared to defy him. He also wears a hockey mask. Of course, you know, the Friday the 13th reference. His hobbies are collecting torture devices and searching for a tough prey. He was also featured as King of Hearts in Tokyo Gold Trump. Thanks for watching and peace out.